We completely changed everything that we stood for as a brand. You can do a rebrand with a different logo, but usually it's like a small change in the logo. This was completely different. Rebranding a major multinational company, that doesn't happen every day. It was really a dramatic change from where we were coming from. It was hectic. We can be open about that. It was quite hectic. And that's where things got really interesting. Kia as a brand, we're a relatively new brand in the car industry, but over the last 10 years in particular, we've seen a, a big growth in, in awareness of the brand. And we felt some aspects of Kia evolved faster than others. It's quite clear that we're in a kind of period of disruption. New forms of movement and mobility were starting to come. We felt we needed to be in the center of that change. To take a look at ourselves and refocus. As the European region, we alerted the wider organization that change was happening and that we needed to respond to it in a very decisive way. One way to address this was to transform ourselves into a whole new brand. We're trying to reposition ourselves as a sustainable mobility brand. To respond to any shape and form that going from A to B can take in the future. And this shift requires us to think more openly and work digitally. Collaboration, communication, creativity. You know, we've got to make sure that we enhance that. To explore new ways and new tools that can help us to speed up the transformation. When you do such a dramatic change, you need to make sure the first thing is your internal audiences and make sure that everyone comes along. We were looking into ways on how to deploy the brand information within the organization. Give the access to people to the brand so that people feel they also play an active part in building it. We were working together with a design agency made in. They were helping us to come up with a visual design-driven language. We were advising Kia on the digitalization of the whole brand management in the cloud. The moment when we heard about the rebrand, I thought, yeah, let's promote Frontify as the tool where it's much easier for everyone working with the brand. We try to envision this kind of holistic concept where we say, okay, how can we bring the experience part, but also workbench part together and really form this concept where you say, it's not only experiencing the brand, it's also working with the brand. And that's where Frontify came in. It helps us to gather everything instead of this is here, you can find that over there. All the information about the brand is at the same place and we wanted to build a platform in a way that doesn't give only information, but it also inspires people. That was a key element to capture people's imagination also internally and to make everyone contribute actively. Now looking back at everything with the old look and feel, you're like, oh wow, that's outdated. It's the start of a journey and we need to keep on landing proof points of what the new brand stands for. We build a brand that is broad enough to become a platform for whatever mobility and movement become. Add more creativity, inspiration to the way we work. And every time we bring a product to market and a service to market, we've got to find ways to really make sure that that brand purpose comes to life. Our vision with Frontify is to utilize it as the main touch point between the different teams. With Frontify, we have something very precious 